as you can see, it goes all the way around here. And we've got a step because there uh, we run out of concrete. Over here, we've got our copings. Hello, welcome back to the um, garden wall job. It's 20 to 4. We're here late because we've been rained off today. Oh, we're on a little job and it rained pretty much till 2 o'clock. It's trying to rain again now. So instead of us rushing here tomorrow morning, this is our next job tomorrow. Uh, lintel's put off till Friday, maybe Sunday, depending on the weather. So we could just come here for the last hour to get this lot in. It's all been delivered. So we need to get it all through the house. Get the mixer through and then we can turn up at half seven tomorrow and just get just get it smashed. Weather permission of course. So um yeah we'll put put this on a bit of a time lapse for you while we get this stuff in. And it comes out. So catch you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. Um that time lapse that time lapse footage I promised you didn't happen. Set the camera up, didn't press start as usual. So we're done. Everything's through. Common bricks for inside the steps. Soaking wet. Soaking wet. They're all dry. We've had a bit drained all night, so the loose ones weren't covered, so they're soaked. But we've got the uh, we've got an, an embrayer heater from Screw Fix. Not very good, but it's better than nothing. So we'll get that set up tomorrow. So there's our little footing that we put in. We're just skinning this wall up. The um, the wall is following this patio, so everything's squared off the patio. So this patio isn't square. It's like, which one do you do? They're just relaying the first four rows here and leaving the top bit. So it's, we've got to follow what's there. So when the, when this side's done, it'll just need piecing up along here with the, with the piece. But that's down to the flagger. Like I say, they want they want to get someone back to relay that four four rows, which are just chucked on the sand. It's an absolute absolute disgrace. Yeah, so um, blocks are in as well. They're only fibre lights, but this one course just to build bulk the wall up doesn't matter if they're not seven newton. Putting viscreen up the back of them, put some holes, put leaving the cross we're leaving the cross joints out, the perps out or the bottom of the perps out, and we're putting some clear wheat vents in the bottom course maybe the next course up but we're putting them in somewhere just to let a bit of water through and then that's it we're going to be back here at half past seven. Oh yeah lines up we've set out we've marked out so it's get here get a mix on and get cracking at half seven so yeah that's us for today we'll see you in the morning Good morning. Good morning. We're finally back on this wall, and today we're going to try and get it done. Well, we are going to get it done. It's, if it's a late one, it's a late one, but we, uh, as you saw yesterday, we spent a bit of the, bit of the evening getting these loads out ready. Uh, we've got up 250. 270, I think. 270. We're going to try and set all them today. And uh, after, as well as loading them out, Dad also got, he's got the bond sorted out. And you can just about see it. We've got a little uh, line scratched in where we're working up to. And then obviously here as well. We did that dry concrete around here. So we're gonna lay these ones on here. And we've got the drill for screwing it to this one because this is actually doing a good job, believe it or not. So instead of, just, instead of knocking that down and having to re-retain all that, we're gonna do screw ties and tie this to that. And then, as you can see, it goes all the way around here. And we've got a step because uh, we run out of concrete. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan. And then if I take you over here, and we've got some copings. We're going to go on the top, obviously. Very nice match. Some nice dark gray and some light gray. Yeah, enough of me blabbering. Dad's got the mix on, so let's get cracking.
here we go. More or less ready to go. And just while that's been mixing, we've been leveling up some of the concrete and... That's good. When you're using that laser level, you can't go wrong, can you? So... Not much about that. Absolutely. So, once that mix is a bit more wet, I'm gonna get laying. Uh, another update. Uh, I'll take it back about this heater. It's a little bloody monster. It bloody uh, tripped out the electric for our mixer. There you go, here's Alex's corner up to height. She's got a course of block to drop in the back there. All the first course is level through, bonded through. My corner's up, which is a bit higher. I think it's course higher at this end of the steps. And first course is all around the so basically we're just covering up that monstrosity of a wall and facing it with some nice stonework which when it's all jointed up looks fantastic. Abbey Stone Calder Brown, 300 mil. Nice. So, um, next job is I'm gonna get this corner up while Alex carries on running through there and then I've gotta set the steps out. The um, bottom two, the bottom step projects off this concrete onto the flags. But these flags are good flags. So um, I'm quite happy to set the steps on. It's only the bottom step, so there's not a lot of weight on the bottom step. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, get cracking. Probably by the time he's run three in, that actually, across the, you can actually run block work across there, because none of that's seen inside the steps. The steps return there. They're going to be 1290, I think, wide, to allow for overhang on the flags. It's going to be one, two, third step into the garden. It'll all make sense as we're going along anyway. So we'll catch you in a bit.
I've had lunch. Just probably getting on for half one now. Mix is a mixing away. Nice and stiff so it goes off quick. Alex is done with the joints in. How's it how's your joints now? Right. Yeah, but it's not sticky, is it? No. Cool. So Alex's got two to go on there. Right. Nobody could see them there. You just you just crash yourself up. <laughs> yeah, so two to go on this side. Square these steps up. Step one, step two, step three is into the garden because those flags are coming up. And three to go on this side because the garden's sloping up. So the wall steps up one. And then seven round here. So uh, that's what we've got to do. We've probably got the hardest bit out because we've set out, we've got the corners up, we've got the set, steps set out. So that's pretty much running in now. I've just got to run those first two in there and the inside of the steps. I've just got to run that in, get the course of block down the back of it. I've just got to run all this in. And then we're going to get the copings on top, which are over there by Alex. Uh, the, which are the charcoal, or they call, I think they call them slate grey. But they'll go, they go nice with these stones. These are, these are, by the way, Abbey Stone, Calder Brown. The 300 by 65 is by 100 and whatever. Yeah, Abbey Stone, Calder Brown. Not sure if we can get them down south, but they're made in Preston, so I'm not sure if they're quite local. So, um, yeah, still plenty to do, and we're over halfway through the day, so it's going to be a long day. We just need to get pushed on now. So I'll, I'll um, just film a, finishing off this step here, and then we'll drop back onto town. That's why we get a bit more done.
probably half past six. We knew it was going to be a long one. But yeah, we're done. The wall's up. Because the garden slopes, we've got a step in it there. Steps up a course at the steps and then round. And as you can see, we've just wrapped that around the old wall. Just tidies it up nice. All pointed up. And uh, we were sweating on the copings. And that's the offcuts. That's what we've got left out of the copings. That's it. <laughs> so that's us. There's the block. That's going to be buried.